Hey everyone, today is a Barbie review day. I review Barbies every Monday. It's full size Barbies, like these ladies here. These are my oldest Barbies that I have in my collection, and I'm going to go them go over them really briefly with you today. And talk about the bodies, talk about the hair, and I'm not going to go a lot into the clothes. I'm going to do clothes in another video. So we're going to start off with this beautiful bubble cut Barbie here in the middle. The bubble cut Barbies were made between 1962 and 1967. They are number 850. The bodies are marked Midge TM, copyright 1962, Barbie registered, copyright 1958 by Mattel Inc. I'll put this in my description so that you can see exactly what the marking of, are of these dolls. Some of them also included the word patented after what I just mentioned, and that was for Barbies that were 64 and beyond. The hair colors for the bubble cut Barbies varied from Titian, like this girl over here, that's a Titian color. And then various shades of blonde. This Barbie here, I call this a ginger blonde. And then brunette, like this doll over here on the right. Brunette hair. Bubble cut was a term, I think it came out in the 60s, for the bouffant hairstyle that kind of is in the shape of a bubble. There are also Barbie dolls that have side parts. None of my dolls are side parts. There's a special... Um, parting in the mold of the doll's head that allows it to have a crisscross or thatching that goes into a side part feature. Those are very distinct dolls and once you're familiar with Barbies you can be able to tell that. None of the dolls that I have are that. I don't know, I know this this brunette here on the right is definitely touched up Probably the rest of them are too, but to me, in an untrained eye, I don't have many vintage dolls. It's hard for me to tell, but maybe you'll know, and if you do know, you can let me know. I don't mind. I, I display my Barbies as they come to me. I clean them up a bit, but I don't retouch anything on them. I try to buy Barbies that look great and don't have really gobbed up makeup or um, anything that looks extremely touched up to me, I, I don't go for those dolls. So these are the dolls I wanted to show you today. This gal in the middle has this beautiful ginger hair. Her eyes are pretty. Um, she's got these thick lashes. That's the same with all these bubble cut dolls, have that thick lash in black. I think all the Barbie's eyes are blue, but I could be wrong about that. This one has very faint pink pastel lips that may possibly be touched up. She's wearing a genuine Barbie vintage fashion. And that's what she looks like from the back. Her nails are a reddish color but may have originally been peach. It's hard to tell. And then her shoes, I'm sorry, she doesn't have shoes on her feet. I don't put shoes on my dolls because I don't want to break the shoes. Her feet are like a peachy red color, her nails. I love this doll, I love her hair. Then I'm gonna move her over so that I can show you this Titian bubble cut Barbie. Same eye style. They both have the same color of brows. If I could put her over here, they both have this light brown, thin brow. This Barbie has coral lips and she's wearing, um, this is a clone, a vintage clone doll fashion with this lacy top and these old vintage rhinestones with prongs go all the way around the bottom here as well. The skirt that she's wearing is from FM Boulevard. 
uh, you can you can find that if it's still available on www.fmblvd.com. These were a division of Katie's Collectibles. I love this skirt. It's full. It's got great fabric. It fits these dolls so well. This doll, this Titian, and I believe the Brunette doll, both have the patented on their marking on the bottom. So that means these both these dolls were from 1964, the bodies. The bodies and heads could be swapped out because people do that. So I don't know for sure. I don't remove my dolls' heads to find out who they are, but that's a possibility. Then next, I want to bring in the brunette to the front. I do know for sure that she's touched up. You can tell by the makeup in her eye, the eyeshadow. It definitely looks touched up to me. Looks like her lashes have had uh, black paint on them added. Her lips have a shiny look to them right in here. It tells me possibly there was a little touch up on it. Her arms and her fingers. The fingernails are red, but not a really dark red. Looks very pretty. And then her toenails. She doesn't really have any paint on them anymore. Let me show you her. Her hair is very full and curled. The other two were in a bit of different styles. Her, the dress she's wearing is a modern uh, clone dress. I just like her in this red, white, and blue fashion. I think she looks really cool in that. She's got these earrings in that are safe earrings. I always, if any of my dolls have earrings in them, I take them out and put these safe earrings in that won't cause green ear. A lot of these older dolls get green ear from the metal, from the earrings or anything metal that was touching them. Now I want to take her out and show you my older dolls in the back. This doll here is Fashion Queen. She came with three wigs. I don't have any of her wigs. Usually when you find those wigs, they're fused to the wig stand. I've not been able to find any that are in really great condition. Um, so, I'm, But I'm happy with her, with her molded hair and the band around it. She's not a repro doll. She is 1962 Fashion Queen Barbie 870. She's marked on the bottom Midge TM, copyright 1962, Barbie R, copyright 1958 by Mattel, Inc. She, I think, has been touched up somewhat, but not majorly. Looks like maybe her lips had some touch-up work. If she was touched up, I think she was it was done by somebody very skilled because it's it's even got some rubs here at the lash edge. She also has safe earrings in. She's got this older necklace that does have a little metal piece here, but I don't keep it on her. I like it on her for um pictures or for videos like this. Her hands have some of the polish left. I think this is original, not touched up, like a coral, to match her lips. Her toenails have a bit of polish on them as well. Not sure if that's touched up or not. She's wearing the Repro Fashion Queen outfit. Here's the headpiece that comes with it. I don't put this on her because you can't see her pretty face. I usually tuck it under her arm here. The swimsuit, you'll see when I turn her around, 
doesn't fit the vintage Barbies. So the Repro dolls are a bit thinner. Um, this belt, or not belt, this zipper was missing the, uh, the holder that zips it up. But I keep this on my doll because I like that this is look her original look in this fashion queen swimsuit. It's so pretty. I love how it's shiny gold and white. And then my ponytail doll, this is the only ponytail that I have that is vintage. I have a lot of repros, but I only have one vintage ponytail doll. And that is this gal here. Let's scoot her back. We've already talked about her. This is a 1962 to 1964 ponytail Barbie, 850. She is marked Barbie R, Pat's Pinned. That's P-A-T-S period P-E-N-D. Copyright M-C-M-L-V-I-I-I. -I -I. That's 67, 50, 50, maybe 58. I think that might be 58 by Mattel Inc. Sorry, I'm not good with Roman numerals. Um, I've been told from people that have a lot more knowledge about older Barbies than I do, that she's a number six Barbie. She's got a blonde, kind of a ginger blonde hair, curly poodle type bangs. And uh, let me turn her around and you can see her hair in the back. It's not in the original style. I think someone redid this doll and curled her hair. I think it looks really great. I don't think this doll has ever been touched up. Her eyes, you can see the rubs in the uh, mold on her lashes. It doesn't look like her irises have ever been touched up. Let me see if I can tip her back a little bit so you can see better. And her lips look like almost all the coral paint on her lips has come off. As I've said in other videos, and I think I said it in the beginning of this one, I don't do major things to my dolls. I try to collect them in what looked like as original condition as I find them without touch-ups. I'll clean them the best that I can if they need cleaning. But other than that, I don't add paint or nail polish or anything that someone might do to make their dolls look like they're brand new. I like the look of a doll that's that shows its age. I just think that's really pretty. Now, for the dolls that look like they're minty, I like the repro dolls, and I do have those, and I'll show you those later, as I said. Her nails were probably touched up. I don't think that this doll um, had peach nails. In fact, this may not even be her original body. I don't know for sure, but... I still think that looks great. It don't, I don't think it looks overdone. Her toenails also have a little bit of red on them. This just may have been from another doll's body that didn't have this doll head. This is a Suburban Shopper. Um, it's not got a tag, so I can't tell for sure if it's repro or vintage, but it looks vintage to me. I don't have the repro to compare it to. If it had a tag, it was probably cut out, maybe. This is the purse that comes with the Suburban Shopper, item 969. I think this is repro because it looks super minty. Maybe someone out there can tell me for sure if this is repro, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that it is. I don't have the Suburban Shopper hat, but I do have this 2014 50th Anniversary Skipper repro doll hat item bcp 79 that i like to put with this doll to simulate the look of the suburban shopper barbie doll i think it looks really pretty with the outfit so that's all that i have for you for the dolls today these are my oldest barbie dolls i love each and every one of them i wanted to make sure that i had a 
bubble cut in the various colors, the Titian, an example of a Titian, this gal here, in a blonde shade version, this gal here, and then a brunette, this gal here. So I'm happy with my old doll collection. I'm not pursuing more vintage dolls unless I might find a side part or some other doll that I, I don't actually have an example of. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I'll see you next time with more cool stuff. Thanks for watching.